Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here back again with another episode of Scrap Mechanics. Hope you guys are having a good day. My day is going pretty darn good if you ask me. Now I've been messing around in a test world for hours, uh, on and off again, just a, just a wee bit and having a lot of fun with it too. Um, there's so much stuff that you can do in this game and there's actually a lot of stuff that you can't do just because of limitations that uh, haven't been put in the game yet. So um, this was a little car that I made. You guys kind of tore me apart for having both sets of wheels uh, turn. And so I decided to make you guys happy and then we've got one steering system. And it does okay. Um, it's it's pretty fast. Uh, it can tip really easily if I turn too sharp. Yep, see, there you go. Uh, easy enough to fix, though. We just go ahead and plop that down on there and then jump right back in. Um, so, I mean, it's I could turn down the thrust a little bit, but if you're going straight, you usually don't have too much of a problem. Um, I've tried making some other types of vehicles, too, and uh, it's, it's tough. It, it is tough. Uh, cause, okay, so this was supposed to be a, oh gosh, now I don't remember the name of it. Uh, it's supposed to be like a military tank, but it's the four-wheeler military tank. And this one does okay, but it's so long that it normally gets stuck. But this one does have all-wheel turning, and I kind of feel like that's the only way I could do this one. Or it would turn like a bus, basically, right? Because that's what it is, technically. So this one actually turns fairly well. Um, I do get stuck on inclines every once in a while, but other than that, this guy is not bad. So I finished, or I figured, let me, let me look up this, this thing here real quick. Military APC. Military APC is what it was called. And uh, I figured we could finish this up today. Hopefully, uh, you know, get something good out of it. So, what I want to do is I want to make sure I come up... Oh, no. Let's get rid of those. Um, I want to make sure, if you guys can see, the uh, the steering wheel turns all the wheels. They are inverted, so this these back sets turn differently than the front sets. So that makes it uh, be able to turn like it does. And then the engines, one just controls one side, one just controls the other because there's like a limitation on how many I can put on this. Um, I know a lot of you guys were saying there's not, but there it is. And I've run into that a couple of times now, so uh, there's definitely a limitation. Uh, and then, you know, it's, it's fairly simple. I just connected them both up to this and it controls everything. So it's, it's not, not bad, not bad at all. All right, so I want to continue this all the way back as far as we can. Get a couple of straight shots here. There we go. And uh, you guys were actually saying that the uh, the semi was pretty cool. Uh, there were some... There were some... Uh, inaccuracies with the semi and of course you know um there's there's only so much you can do uh and i was thinking of ways that i could make that better and i was uh, i left a comment on someone's uh youtube or on their comment on my video uh earlier i can't remember uh, who it was but i said there's definitely going to be a mark two of this vehicle because it is so dang cool so i'm doing this all out of metal because i figured it would be the best um let's see does this affect anything nope no more than it did before okay so we're good there um now i can go ahead and i can take this wall back as far as it'll go and then this will be i mean this is sort of like a semi if you guys haven't seen um the last video i mean this is except for the pivot point in the middle this is going to be pretty darn similar We'll go ahead and just fill this in. There we go. So I could do like little hidden areas here. There we go. So I, I'm curious, are these, um, these vehicles, for those of you that are in the military or, or know, uh, this was a suggestion in the comment section 
uh, by a couple people actually, and uh, I'm gonna get to doing a, a few more of those. But uh, is this supposed to be like a transport vehicle, or is it? Um, I don't think they had many weapons on them. Maybe they did, but they look like it from the pictures. Uh, is they look like transport vehicles for the military. All right, so that is a decent start. I know they're usually more rounded than this, but, you know, we work with what we got here. And uh, I figured, hmm, hmm, we could try something with, uh, with like, a uh, sloped back edge. This could take a minute, though. Oh, you know what? We... Would have to do something like this. Oh, that's going to stick out real far. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know what? That's not actually going to be bad. We can do something like... No, that is actually terrible. Now that I think of it... I love how the, the pieces, if you disconnect them, which in real life, you know, that's how it would work... If you disconnect them, they just fall off. I've had a, a couple builds kind of, quote-unquote, ruined that way. Uh, just because I, I placed something and then immediately took it away. So we're going to take some features from the uh, the other guy, the 10-wheeler. Uh, See, I can't connect that. So that's one of the rough things with uh, this game is there, there's still some limitations to it and I understand it you know it's no big deal uh, but one thing I was trying to do the other day was I was trying to do something along these lines where I had this is just a quick representation but I had something like this where I had one coming over to here and I was like oh cool that connected and everything awesome 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 so and then I, I took that and I hooked it up to power. Turns out it's not connected at all. Because I was trying to do some sort of some sort of piston system. I th I was thinking about you know uh, I wasn't really sure. Um, another way that I had done this. Let's remove that. Remove that. Put our tire back on. Put our adjustment back on. Just like so. And then, where's our switch? There's our switch. Just connect that up to that, that up to that. i got to put some power into it. Alright, so one thing that I had tried is I waited until this had gotten to a certain point. Yeah, like right there. And I was like, okay, cool. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in... Something like this. And it kind of makes it work. I don't know if that's going to hit properly. Like, you can't move stuff like this with your body. And I don't think you can hit stuff like this with the tool. Oh, you can. I just ruined that. Oh, well. But I was trying to make like a little piston system and uh, thought it would be really cool to try and figure something out. And I got the piston system to work kind of just like I had there. But before I hit it, I, it all slid into place and I was able to create uh, like levers like that and everything. And I thought it was really, really neat. Um, but uh, I couldn't find an application for it. So that'll be something like there's been a lot of stuff like I've got a couple of worlds now um, that uh, all have just crazy little stuff in them but no real application uh so that is something that uh, you know maybe i'll show those off but most of them right now are just play you know nothing uh, nothing actually worthy of anything all right so now while we're messing around here let's go ahead and grab a controller and a switch and then uh, we can go ahead and take this so here's one of the bad things. Let's see. Can I put up a switch here and a controller here? Let's connect those up. Like a soul. And we're going to go positive 105 degrees. Alright, so it's opened up, right? 
Can I put another switch on the inside and have that connect to that as well? No. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can have that connect kind of at all, which is a bummer. So I don't know how we're going to get in and out. Uh, maybe if I remove this, remove this. We just take a little a little spritz outside of there. Whoop. Yeah, that'll that'll have to do. Uh, that way we can access this both from the inside and the outside. But that's a start right there. All right, so I think that's pretty cool. And now I want to try something else here while we're messing around. Say so we've got a platform like we do in there. Uh, I want to do a little tidbit here. So I want to have a platform in the middle, uh, which will be kind of like right here. Let's see it start right there. Say so it's three tall. Let me get this number. Okay, now that's handled. Get a three by three platform. And then let's see, a controller, a switch. Take that to there, that to there. Uh, so if I rotate this, say I want to go positive 180 degrees on number two. 180 degrees, so it's like a full flip. Right now, that's just going to flip that upside down. Okay. Uh, hold up. Hold up. All right, so this one, what if I wanted this one to flip a full 180 degrees? Okay, uh, what if I wanted to go negative 180 degrees? It's kind of weird. If you go off screen, it, it wigs out a little bit. Uh, close that. All right, that's what we want. Okay, so something like this, we get moved up. Okay, okay, yep, that's that's what we want. So I want to try this in a little bit bigger of an area. So let's take this away. And then we can come up again. Uh, actually, where did that connect? Oh, that connected at the bottom. Okay, that's good. That's what we wanted. This one will connect at the top. This one at the bottom. And that actually should be high enough. Uh, now we'll make our 3x3 three three platform here. Okay. So now we've got a few more things. So I'm actually going to disconnect this and this. I want this to move first. This to move first. This to move next. And this to move next. Okay. So we want to go positive 180, negative 180. And we'll see what that does for now. Okay, that does exactly what we wanted to. Okay, so this one now will also do a positive 180. Okay, that's not, mm, you know what? Except for that turning over, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I've changed the rotation a little bit. Uh, so this is, this one is not gonna work for what we want. So let's remove that, like so. Uh, and then, yeah, we're gonna have to stick to sideways. Uh, is this one on top or bottom? This one's on top. So one on bottom. All right, so I think if we do that, uh, we'll put our platform here again, but this time we'll put it on the inside. And if I can put the platform on the inside, connect this one next and this one next. All right, so that one's turned over. 
So we need number four to go negative 180. Okay, that doesn't work. What about a positive 180? Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, it's broken. It broke. What happened? All right, let's try this. Yeah, it's like wigging out. Oh, pretty sure. Yeah. It's like glitched. So I get this every once in a while where I have glitched something into something else. It's all right, though. I had a lot, like I was doing some uh, experimenting with airplanes and uh, I was crashing a lot. And every time I crashed, I would glitch uh, into the ground. And that was pretty much the end of my airplanes extravaganza. So let's put this here. There's our platform. Get number five. Number six. Okay, apparently that's not even connected. Hold on. Whoa. All right, so that's... We're getting some weird rotation in this. Um... Let's go negative 180 and then okay so it's coming out it's coming out let's go positive 180 maybe that'll prevent that from okay so nope I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like, this is where I do not do very well. I can think about this, but trying to build something like this, like, on the fly gets me. And it gets me bad, too. Um, so I want this. If it's... Which, which, which is it rotating upward? Oh, actually, that's, that's working. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's remove the button. <laughs> it kind of knocks you off a little bit, but all right. Well, that is the start. Uh, I want to, I'm going to have to figure this out a little bit. We might have a part two of this, uh, but uh, I can only work on something for so long before my head starts to hurt and uh, I, I start to get frustrated. So we've got a little too much uh, lift in either direction, but we're going to try and put one of these contraptions inside of here. And that way we can come up and be like sitting like halfway out of the vehicle and uh, have a, uh, you know, if we need to defend ourselves for whatever reason. But for right now, we have basically a tank. This thing, it's heavy, it's crude, but it definitely will get the job done and defend you in the process. So... All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I am going to mess with this and maybe some other contraptions. Oh, yeah, see, we're too heavy to get up here. Oh, man. We are going to have to up the ante on the guns, and I am stuck. All right, guys, my name is Drax. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions for something else I should build, I am seeing your guys' suggestions in the comment section, so I will be uh, looking into some of those. Um, I think the next one that I'm going to try is maybe a uh, Formula One race car. Uh, I'm not too familiar with race cars or how they work besides being like a car, but uh, I'm going to try my hand at it. So if you guys want to see that, stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.